your girl Brie Nicole and I'm back with another video and in this video I'm going to be talking about how I give ship report as an RN in the hospital setting um and this also could be for an LPN in the hospital setting but when I first started as a new grad my hospital gave me these report sheets can't really see it but I'm gonna try to like scan it and add it into the screen um, it has three different slots for three patients and I usually print these front and back. We get up to five patients so that means I always have like an extra one in case I get a new admission and then somebody goes home. So I just like to use these and I kind of filled it in as if I had a patient and I'm going to go down and show y'all how I would give report to the oncoming nurse um, that's coming in for night shift. So the first thing on here is the room number. So I'll start by saying, um, this is the patient in room 101, and then it has the patient's name. His name is John Doe, and I always put the age. So he's a 66 year old male. Um, next is the MD. He is admitted to Dr. Blue. Consults are next, so it will be any doctor that this patient is consulted to. And at my hospital, I'm pretty sure others like you have a lot of travelers so they don't know the doctors so I will say like Dr. Blue is a surgeon or Dr. Blue is a hospitalist just so they can get an idea of who they were admitted to because we do have a lot of travelers at my facility so I'll say um, he is consulted to Dr. Green he's a hospitalist or a surgeon or a cardiologist just depends on you know what they do i try to give them an idea he's also consulted to P phys pt and ot which is physical therapy and occupational therapy next is allergies he has no known allergies a full code precautions and i just put that he's on contact precautions for mrsa um, and if he wasn't on any precautions, I would just say he's on standard precautions. Next is this admission. So I would put the date he was admitted. So I would say then um, he was admitted on August 9th for a right diabetic foot wound that got infected at home. Next is the O2. Um, he is on room air. And if his lungs are clear, I would say he has clear lungs. Um, next is activity status. I say he's a minimal assist because he does have a unequal gait because of the foot wound. He kind of limps. Um, so I would say minimal assist. He is on a diabetic diet. Level of consciousness. He is alert and oriented times three. Um, urinary and GI system. He voids to the bathroom. He is continent times two. A lot of people like to know the last bowel movement. His last bowel movement was yesterday. Um, let's say it's the 11th. His last bowel movement was yesterday on the 10th. And as far as the labs, I will always tell like pertinent labs pertaining to why they were here or just any abnormal labs that the patient may not even know about that were abnormal um, until admission to the facility. So as for this patient, his white blood cell count was elevated because of the infection and also his CRP was elevated, which is inflammation in the body from that infection. He is not on the heart monitor. Um, next is plans, planned procedures. So for this patient, they either plan to debreathe the wound or let's just say it's near the toes the doctor either say we can debreathe this wound and try to um recover it or we can just amputate um where the wound is amputate that part of the foot so depending on whatever the patient decides is what the doctor is gonna do and then next is drains or tubes he doesn't have any drains or tubes so i just put an x through that um just like the heart monitor IV and fluids he has a 20 gauge in his right AC with normal saline at 75, um, just because he was a little dehydrated on admission. Wounds and dressing changes. He has a right foot wound and we are doing BID, wet to dry dressing changes to that wound and it is a Bosch wet to dry dressing change. Um, BID is twice a day, so normally that's once per shift. So day shift will do it and then night shift will do it before midnight. 
he is an accurate check because he is a diabetic. He slides greater than 140. He is an ACHS AccuCheck, which is at breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and before bed. So he, if he's greater than 140, he will receive insulin. Um, depending on his sliding scale is how much insulin he will get at those times. And then I will tell them like, hey, I had to cover him once or twice during my shift um, and what his blood sugars were next is just um assessments so like any other things that i may have found on my patient or just something random i wanted them to know like while i assess the patient i just put that here and then i also have a vital sign section so um i write the vital signs we do those on day shift at 7 11 and 3 so i write down the vital signs and anything abnormal i highlight just to make myself a note in case the doctor rounds i can say hey his blood pressure was this or his heart rate was elevated or his temp is kind of going up um so i can let the doctor know as well as the oncoming nurse um know and next is history so i'll just say he has a history of diabetes type 2 hypertension high cholesterol and he is a smoker and then after that i have meds so um, meds I usually write the times of my meds and then like any important meds so like a lot of my older patients are on like vitamins and stuff I don't write all of that down I usually write important stuff like if they're getting a blood pressure pill to let me know like hey you need to check blood pressure before giving this or heart rate before giving this something important like that or like a blood thinner um just something that can affect the patient um in a bad way if i were to give it i always like to make myself a note of or hey they're on this um so you might want to check their blood pressure before giving this med so i write on the times and then important meds and then last i have updates and notes and usually i just put like things that are changed during my shift any updates that are given from the doctor um things that the doctor may change on the patient during my shift because sometimes like the diet changes um patients that have foley's get taken out on my shift um i may have to switch the iv site if it were to go bad um if a patient fell anything like any updates that happen during my shift i write down here just to make myself a note and to let the oncoming nurse know so that is how i would give report um to the oncoming nurse and i do that for all five patients and it usually goes by pretty quickly and smoothly and normally nurses will leave their questions for last like if they have a question about a certain thing they they'll just leave it for last to say hey um can you go back over this or can you repeat that and i try to go through my report as slow as possible because i don't like when nurses talk so fast and you're not even able to write down the first thing so i do try to go through mine slow as possible to give them enough time to write everything down and to ask questions and that's pretty much it so if you have like a nurse brain sheet or a nurse report sheet you will have no problem giving report all you have to do is to just go from top to bottom and if you see something missing on like report sheets that your job offer you or that you may get offline something that you want to include you can go on microsoft word and make your own report sheet it's just up to you because that's actually what i plan on doing i've been using these for my job but i do write big as y'all can see so it's like almost at the line and i always find myself having to add like post-it notes on top of the sections to add more information so i do plan on probably making my own report sheet and if y'all want a video on that i'm pretty much just going to copy this but just give myself more room so i may um just do like two patients per sheet so if y'all want to see how i make that just let me know and i'll try to do a video on how i make my report sheet and like i said i will upload this one just so y'all can see like this is what my job provided me with and they actually gave me about 
four different report sheets and this is just the one I chose to use. So if you would like to see more content from me, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below and let me know what other videos y'all would like to see and I will be sure to get them out to you guys. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.